वसुदेवसुतंदेव कौसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकेनंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु All right, chapter two and verse will be today, the eighteenth verse, eighteenth. Okay. Antavanta ime deha. Antavanta ime deha. Nityas. Yogtaha shari rinah Nityas yogtaha shari rinah Anashino prameyasya Anashino prameyasya तस्मास्वस्वत दीज बॉडीज एक्वायर्ड बाय द इम्पेरिशेबल इनडिफाइनेबल एंड eternal soul are spoken of as perishable therefore o arjun fight anashinah as we are discussing about okay bhagwan wants to again you you can say it it's it's, it's like an hammering okay this body is perishable whereas the atma the self the soul is imperishable okay anashina a thing which never changes which never changes there is no decay and never gets extinct in the list by any cause under any circumstances is called anashihi and what is that anashi means here the soul the spirit the self the atma is not exposed to destruction or change so it is indestructible or imperishable as we are keep on discussing because this is the subject we need to focus we need to try to understand that okay now after the anashi it says अप्रमेय अप्रमेय दोल ईज बियॉन्ड द डोमेन ऑफ सेंसेस और स्पीच और माइंड सो Bhagwan wants to say is that you can't, one cannot reach to Atma with any senses, be it ear, be it eyes. No, we can't see with eyes. We can't hear with the ears. We can't speak. I mean. <laughs> up to certain extent <laughs> it's difficult to describe even so it is 
इनडिफाइनेबल द बॉटम लाइन भगवान वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सप्लेन अर्जुन दैट यू कैन नॉट वन कैन नॉट डिफाइन आत्मा देन हाउ डू वी नो इट कैन बी एक्सपीरियंस्ड it can be experienced and how and 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 what are the the requirement for the experience only by having faith in scriptures only by having faith in scriptures and saints and their gospels but the scriptures or ever whatever they have experience they describe the saints the guru the master that's the only thing we try to understand that and the scriptures and saints do not compel anyone to have faith in them one is free to have such faith or not to have it in case one reposes faith in them that is the object of his faith otherwise it's not the object of his faith meaning okay i have full faith in my guru for an example or the particular saint or the particular wise man and then when he tries to explain me or when he tries to describe about his experience it may bring that faith in me because i have full trust but suppose the guru whom i believe and you do not believe you have no trust on that particular guru or the saint then you won't be able to experience that the same person same experience so the whole idea is that's why the previous sentence bhagwan has only by having faith i might have but if you don't have faith it's not going to work because it's a matter of personal one's own experience that i have given you an example about the guru or the masters now let's go for that the scripture i have full faith in bhagavad gita so i might get that experience times to come but if you don't have faith on the bhagavad gita you may not or some particular topic and the lecture on it lecture is not the <laughs> nice word the correct word in sanskrit is pravachan okay loosely translated in english is discourse okay so on that particular subject or the topic in that pravachan if i have faith i will experience but if you don't have you may not so not only having faith but you it it it's the the the, the main thing you can't just generalize that i have experienced that you going to experience no it's all own personal personal matter and that's why it has named as or tagged as apravayasya it's beyond that nityasya again nitya says eternal all the time the soul the atma does not undergo 
any change. It never ceases to be. It exists all the time. Permanent. That's why, I mean, in thousands of name of Bhagavan Vishnu, it has been described. Anadi, beginning lays, Ananta, end lays, and soul, Atma. Is part of Paramatma. The all qualities what Paramatma have got the Atma got the qualities. So Atma is eternal without any change for years together. Antavanta ime deha nityasyoktaha sharirinaha. The human bodies or any body of imperishable, indefinable and eternal soul are spoken of as perishable. They have an end. It means that these are perishing every moment. They are nothing but a mass of decay in the body, sharir. Two things we have, we have discussed previously also a few months back. Sharir and Shariri. Deh and Dehi. Deh means body. Sharir means body. And Shariri is Atma. Dehi is Atma who resides inside, who stays inside. So again, it says, Antavanta ime deha nityas yoktaha shariri naha. The bodies, the sharir, the deh are perishable. And the dehi or the shariri or the atma will remain the same. Here, those, I mean, it's, it's but uh, uh, grammatical discussion here. Antavanti ime deha nityas yokta sharinaha. In above sentence, what, when I say above sentence is Antavanti ime deha nityas yokta sharinaha, okay? A singular number has been used for the soul, while plural for the bodies. Because Atma will be one. And body will be keep on changing. And that's why there is a very good uh, saying in Sanskrit, Mata Pita Sahasrani Putradara Shatani Cha. My father and my mother, okay? But that's in, in this life. <laughs> in the previous life or the next life. They will be changed. Mata, Pita, Sahasrani. Sahasra means thousand. The parent. In this journey, okay? There will be thousands of Mata and Pita. Putra dara shatani sha, the children. And for, 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 for men, the wife. And woman, the husband. It's going to change. Shatani, hundreds. It's going to keep on changing. And in that context, as I told you, the grammar is used here. Yes, in the above sentence, a singular number has been used for the soul. Anta i vanta i me deha nitya syokta shari rinaha. While plural for the bodies. Because bodies of embodied soul are of three kinds. Now, keep on changing the bodies. There is one. And we always have three bodies physical, shuttle, and causal. There's three bodies. But soul will be the same. So, 
माता पिता सहस्राणी पुत्र दारा शतानी च वेल अगेन भगवान एम्फिसाइज ऑन द वन थिंग दैट ओ अर्जुन यू मस्ट नॉट ग्रीव बिकॉज द बॉडी आर गोइंग टू पैरिश वेर द एलिमेंट नॉट एलिमेंट द स्पिरिट द सेल्फ विच इज इन साइड द बॉडी इज इम्पेरिशेबल सो यू नीड नॉट वरी यू नीड नॉट ग्रीव all the body which are perceptible are perceivable means whatever we see <laughs> it is going to go if not today tomorrow 10 year 20 year 30 year while the soul is imperishable and eternal you know bhagwan wants to give a clear message to arjun by giving different example or by saying him repeatedly and then then it will store here for an example i am sure you all must have gone to gujarati school hmm? the tables in gujarati what we say palakha paanch pacham pachis paanch pacham pasi chhachang chhatri sadu sate agar bajas then store here <laughs> then you will never forget <laughs> but if it is one day once a year it's not going to help so that bhagwan is telling with a different argument and keep on saying keep on repeating the same okay so while the soul is imperishable and eternal but this immortal soul through the, sorry the immortal soul though different from body identifies itself with the body and develops what it develops an ego or iness and the minus <laughs> my body my house my car everything going to leave and die i i i have shared so many time with you in our gita class that janma mrutyu jara vyadhi dosha dukha anudarshanam janma birth mrutyu death jara old age janma mrutyu a vyadhi डिजीज जन्म मृत्यु जरा व्याधि दुख दोषानुदर्शन मस्ट दर्शन मीन्स मस्ट फेस दैट इट इट्स गोइंग टू कम एंड देन देर देर इज देर इज नो एस्केप इफ इट इफ इट आई हैव टू ट्रांसलेट इट गुजराती जन्म मृत्यु कड़पण दुख रोग आनुदर्शन रोज करवा रोज करवा मीन्स ये ख्याल जो होवी मस्ट बी अवेर अबाउट दैट इट्स गोइंग टू कम इट्स गोइंग टू कम राइट एंड देर देर इज नो एस्केप देर इज अ वेरी गुड स्टोरी इन महाभारत इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेक नहीं दैट युधिष्ठिर the king the eldest brother among the pandav and uh, in their assembly assembly room outside of the assembly room 
they have a big the bell okay big bell the bell okay and there was an you can say unwritten law or it was a norm that something unusual happens that time only you ring that bell so what happened one fine evening yudhishthi the king he just finished his uh, that particular day's routine and he just about to leave that assembly room where he normally meets all the citizen and listen to them sort their problem out or whatever it is so he was about to leave and one citizen came and he was just started to say something and yudhishthir interrupted him okay okay wait 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 today time is over come tomorrow okay the bhim the younger brother of yudhishthir was there and he heard that his elder brother yudhishthir told that citizen come tomorrow we talk tomorrow okay so the vim immediately rush out and started ringing the bell <laughs> so all those who were there surprised and even yudhishthir <laughs> the king ask him be <laughs> what happened because everybody knew that something unusual then only you <laughs> otherwise not and which had not happened in last few years or what you it is so bim says yes brother because you told that citizen come tomorrow so under the sky nobody knows that <laughs> i'll be there tomorrow but at least you know that <laughs> that is something unusual and that's why i started ringing the bell I, i must be honest with you it 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 it's, it's really there in the mahabharat or not i have no idea but it it it's a good story which is related which which gives us a good message in fact we need to know the extract we need to know the message we need to understand the message or we need to try to read what is said between the lines <laughs> right so because since <laughs> this this goes to the youtube also so so somebody may say <laughs> no but that's not in the mahabharat it may be not i have no idea anyway, so the thing is the body develops an ego or iness or the myness my 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 it's me it's me and does regards its death also is my death <laughs> regards death also means self soul's death no 
he who identifies himself with wealth then he says i am a wealthy person he who identifies himself learned i am a learned man <laughs> call himself wealthy or the learned person okay similarly accepts a body as one's own one develops the feeling of attachment or minus minus is mine <laughs> for it and this attachment extends to wealth and family etc i am wealthy is my wealth i am a learned person i have got the big property or i have got this so small kingdom of mine <laughs> what you okay so by having affinity with this of ines and minus all evils are born one cannot discriminate between the real and the unreal forget to 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 to, to know what is transitory and what is eternal and thus persons grieves while the wise are not grieved because they realize that the real cannot perish and unreal cannot exist <laughs> the smart yudhyasv here the word bhagwan has used the smart that has been used for drawing a conclusion after reasoning but this the smart word bhagwan has used at a couple of time with different contexts in the same chapter verse 30 in the chapter 3 verse 19 in the chapter verse 7 in the chapter 8 verse 27 and so on right it has been used to conclude reasoning bhagwan krishna here directs arjun to fight discharge your duty discharge his duty by discriminating between the real and unreal bhagwan says this is your duty Amir to say that he should not grieve but to wage war because again the soul is imperishable by the body the sharir are perishable okay right friends today i have started little late and i am going to conclude little early to to some commitment with the mandir the meeting etc so we will be chanting verse 73 chapter 18 and we will be doing the prayer which arjun did towards the end of bhagavad gita nashto moha srudir labdha प्रसादान्मयाच्युत सीतोस्मेगतसंदेह करिष्ये वचनन्